I'm Kevin Duggan, and I'm a certified professional dog trainer. I help build positive relationships between humans and their canine companions. I do this by focusing on communication and rewarding the behaviors that we want our dogs to do. I do this because I love working with dogs and helping them fit happily into their homes. Hey everyone, Kevin Duggan from All Dogs Go to Kevin here with my dog V. Uh, today's video is going to be about healing and not like magical healing of dogs or people. I mean healing of the exercise walking next to the human. Uh, I teach two different behaviors. I teach a loose leash walk and I teach a heel. Um, healing means that the dog, I just teach it kind of formally, so the healing means the dog is on your left side where its head and shoulder is right around where your hip is. And they should be pretty close to you as well. So how I go about teaching this is I kind of take it on a step-by-step -step basis. So I start off by getting the dog in a sit next to me on my left side. From there I go ahead and what I do is for new dogs I will lure them the entire way and once again luring is taking um, a treat, putting it on their nose and kind of guiding them in a direction. So I'll lure them to a sit next to me and then what I'll do is I'll go for a one-step heel. Uh, so I'll take one step forward and I'll lure the dog next to me uh, so it heals for one step and then I'll lure it to a sit. Uh, my goal, you know, in the beginning I have to do, if you have to do a lot of luring, it's not the end of the world. The ultimate goal is that you heal your dog to heal, your dog starts healing next to you, and then when you stop, it sits. Uh, the general rule with healing is that anytime you stop, your dog should sit unless you instruct otherwise. Uh, to, you know, healing, the times that it comes in handy are, you know, if you have to walk through like a busy crowd or something and there's a lot of people and you need your dog to be right next to you, it might be safer for him. Uh, you know, if there's heavy distractions similar to the crowd and there's a lot of things that your dog could potentially go after, if you cue them to heal, uh, it could be like teaching an incompatible behavior. So if your dog is healing the way it's supposed to be, then it's not going after, you know, things in the ground, things on the ground and stuff. Uh, but the idea with how I teach this is I break it into steps for the, for the dog so the dog understands. You know, I started off with a sit, dog then heals, and then the dog goes back to a sit. And just to keep it nice and simple, you know, like I said, start off with uh, one step, and then move to two steps, and then three, and so on and so forth. Be smart about it. Pick, pick your battles where you want to introduce this behavior. Uh, most dogs are going to do very well with this inside, inside of your home. Um, the footage that you're going to be watching in this video is me doing it outside with V. Um, outside is a great place to do it once your dog is ready for that space. If you try to start outside, it might be too distracting for some dogs and you're not going to have much success. The goal is to succeed, so start off easy and then come to harder places. So that's how you teach a heel. Uh, just a quick summary. Start off with your dog in a sit, do a one-step heel, and then have them return to a sit. Do that a couple times. When they're doing well with that, start to add in start to add in a couple more steps in between. Like I said, start off indoors, it's a lot easier. And then start to take it outdoors where there's a little bit more distractions. Um, I have more videos on my YouTube channel, so, or YouTube page, channel, whatever you call it. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash alldogsgotokevinllc. I'm on Twitter at dogstokevin, twitter.com slash dogstokevin. So um, feel free to hit subscribe and give me a like on Facebook. And thanks for watching.